I want to thank everybody for your prayers, for your support, for your comments. I don't get to answer many these days. Things are very hectic and a lot of responsibilities. But I really appreciate everyone who shares support. I know it's a difficult time for everyone and the enemy is trying to set traps of all kinds, especially with debates and uh, strife and difficulties and setting animosity amongst brothers. I want to remind you, this is one of the things that the Lord hates. And so I'm here to remind you to go back to prayer and loving one another, support and intercession for the lost. Now, I'm working on two series, uh, two new calendars. One has to do with Matthew 24. The other one has to do with Esther, and they're both connected. And there's more revelations which are coming in by the minute, and the Holy Spirit has been teaching a lot. Now, I'm spending time and taking my time because we only have one shot sometimes at explaining one concept for that one person that really needs to hear it. So I was planning on posting it earlier this week, even last weekend, but it is not possible. So I ask you to forgive me and be patient. I'm doing my absolute best amongst the responsibilities to my life to fulfill this obligation and great uh, joy that he gives me to work for the Lord out of obedience in a timely manner, but making sure that information is clear and is complete as per what the Lord wants me to share. So I'm hoping to have these calendars done this week, but please be patient. Now I have a very urgent message, which I have received um, important confirmation on. And so not being certain what the timing on this is, I'm going to go ahead and share it tonight. I received the message on 3-28-2023 at 11.55, actually at 10.55 p.m. The message says, Write, son, that I love you. Then I see an 1800 skinny boy with a pointy aquiline nose with a high, high white color shirt. Then the Lord says, for they are professional liars. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. For fear and trembling will cover the earth. Then I see an image of Kevin Costner in his maybe 40s smiling. Looks like a movie set. Right, son, that I love you. My love is with you until the end of days. I will never leave you or forsake you. You rest in me. Abide in me. Rest now, son. The hour is late. Soon you will be with me. I love you, son. I love you, Lord. In parentheses. Rest, son. Lord Jesus, Yeshua. Amen. After that, I see an image of the watchwoman from before the wrath. As I was watching several videos while working today, I was brought to watch a couple of videos on the possible movement of the Yellowstone volcano. And I started to study and understand that a little bit more. This is not something I know much about. As I was doing this, all of a sudden, something came up on my YouTube feed that showed a movie with Kevin Costner. As you can see, the title of this movie series, which I had no idea of, features Kevin Costner and the Yellowstone are mentioned in the same movie. So I do not know ultimately what this means, but the Lord did confirm with me the chocolate factory explosion two days before that happened. I did not understand the chocolate factory explosion at all until obviously after it happened. I am not suggesting that I do know that the Yellowstone will erupt, but I am led to share this message because I believe that this is a possible lead the Lord is showing us in ways that, of course, are not our ways. So I ask you to pay attention, to pray, to seek the Holy Spirit. The Lord is showing us incredible things. You have seen the protest in Israel. This is something he had shown us back in October of 2022. I ask you to go and study the calendars and most importantly, share the gospel with everyone. 
plant a seed, leave the word of hope, the good news with everyone. You're not saved by your works. But this does not mean that it is time to be distracted and taken by the world. Because if the love of the world is in you, the love of the Father is not in you. So abandon the world. Return to the Lord. Seek Him in prayer like never before. And continue to pray, intercede, and support your brothers and sisters. I hope this message blessed you. I'll be back soon. Please continue to pray. In Jesus' name, amen.